his track record suggests when he gets in this position he tends to be able to secure the victory but we shall see three wood for Ollison so off they go Germany's Yannick Paul is going to play with the two Danes in this final grouping here at Amata Spring well then, Groovy Gang, here we go. Get underway, final day at the office, and a wise move straight off the get-go for Ollison hitting three wood. He set himself further back. He can spin it from here. He's got 96 yards to so this pin over on the right-hand side, just over that front bunker. It's all downhill over that, so this is a good play. He can generate plenty of spin. And there is that spin. What a lovely start that is from Ollison. Oh, just inside right, don't give the hole away. It's definitely going to go in. I mean, what a perfect shot in straight towering over the flag. Sipped it back to here. Gorgeous start. It is the perfect start for Torbjörn Olesen. So he moves to 19 under and he is three clear of Joost Lauten, Yannick Paul and Nikolai Hoygar. A little faint bit of breeze here at the second. Outward drive for Olesen. like it but why has he leaked it right yeah, not by too much there's the view back down this par five second there is our leader Ollison here coming out the right rough three wood in hand he can get it to the front right of this green he's done well far enough forward that he hasn't got to go over that little corner that little ridge that sticks out just short of the pin I mean, is he going to try and pitch it in the kind of upslope of the ridge on the left hand side kill it a little bit he's got a lofty club out nine iron maybe eight iron run it get that running like a putt as soon as you possibly can sort of played a half and half shot there Ellison played it really well got the pace spot on he looks in control. This for a birdie birdie start. And to get him to 20 under, which he's done. That's what he, just what he'd been dreaming of last night. Nice birdie birdie start. 15th, rank the 15th hardest hole on the course. Well, I wonder if. Well, he's not going to lay up. He's out with driver. Down the breeze, trying to get it close to the screen as he possibly can. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Not easy to stop it. Ray's green, as you and alluded to, is only five yards on. We've got Olsen here with 53 yards to go. Well, he can stop it. Good pitch of the ball. Olsen, different control. You haven't got to hit it high to stop it. You can hit it low, get that spin on it. Just how he played that one, our leader. Olsen's got this for Birdie Rich. Yes, very good chance down the slope, bit left to right on it. There you go, 21 under. Nice. Wasn't as, much, wasn't as much left to right as I thought on that one there, Jamie. So you sort of nodding your head from side to side. Pretty straight, wasn't it? Yeah. This is it. Accuracy is a must. Get it nice and low, pitch it in the heart of the green, it will feed up. He went a little bit long yesterday. Pin's only a couple of yards from where it was yesterday. He's talking after it. Yeah. Got it over that slope. Great shot from Ellison. I'd rather be Oliver Honda ball because I need a car. <laughs> so give him great momentum for the next two holes as well. Coming up, those dog legs from right to left. They're going to suit his height. Yeah. What a time to pounce as well for Ollison. Just as Hoygar closed to within two, he makes the birdie and he's back to three in front. Now a big tee shot coming up for Ellison. Yeah, and it's just under 500 yards, all downhill, I know. Big dog leg from right to left. This is going to suit his eye, Jamie. But the nerves are flowing. Here we go. Well, the crowd like it. So they should. Watch this one gallop down that hill. Miles down there.
Olufsen after that huge drive of 371 yards. Sitting absolutely perfect, smack bang in the middle of this ferry, and he's only got 125 yards in. Sand iron in hand, down the breeze. Don't look at this pin, just aim a yard right. Perfect. Yeah, if you're aiming just right of the pin, as Johnny was saying, that's a good spot there for Olufsen after that huge drive. Well, another chance for Torby and Olufsen. Here he is at the 14th, and with Hoygaard in trouble, this could be significant. That looks as in the hole as soon as he hit it down that green. It was just tracking all the way for Olufsen. What a couple of holes for him there on these two difficult holes. Birdie, birdie. Well, stepping on the 15th, last of the par fives, 580 yards long, big sweeping dog leg from right to left, bunkers down the left, lost ball territory down there, bunkers dispersed up the right hand side. Hit a wonder shot here yesterday from that right bunker. Hope we drive it. He's looking a little anxious, nudging down the left hand side. Oh. Very good, sir. He's getting some extra distance out there, isn't he, Torby and Olison? The adrenaline is flowing, and he has pumped another one out there. Well, yeah, just, I mean, he's gone. How far do you reckon he's hit it? I can tell you. It's like a quiz with you, isn't it, this afternoon? I know. 357, I'll say it out loud. There you go, quickly. He's ready to go. Now, come on, that's the play. Where Yannick Paul hit it, it's not a bad leave. He likes it, walking after it. Oh, stunning shot from our leader, Olison, straight at the pin. He's on fire. He's turning the screw, no doubt about it, Torbjörn Olison. At the moment, he is marching towards a seventh DP World Tour title. Let's not forget, it's a tough, tough closing three holes here. You feel if he slotted this one in? think is all over well this is a 20 footer up the hill slow as you like first half then rapid as you like second half from left to right not to be but you want to give it a good hit another birdie tucked under the belt 24 under superb time to make three birdies yeah well it's only was it 127 yards to reach dry land from where he is? 140 yards to breeze off the left. That's exactly where he's aiming, and that's where he's hit it. Super shot from Erlison. Job done. I've seen this man's confidence just blooming during the course of today. What a hot start he got off to. Beautiful shot in here. All you needed left at a pin. He's left himself a little downhill putt, a little bit of movement off the left, no more than about a ball outside it. Ooh. Curious. I don't see anything in this, chaps, at all. Lock it and rock it. Do what you've done all day, Ali. Yeah, nicely done. It takes a five shot lead to the final hole. Mistake free, Richard, today. Yeah, he's he? been brilliant. And he's hardly been in trouble as well. I mean, he's had a couple of little par putts, 16, 17 there, but really, been plain sailing for him. I mean, total control of his game the whole way round, Ellison, all aspects of it. Nice. Not too much wrong with that, Jamie. Yeah, go with your favourite club. And he knows he can carry the bunker. Perfect. High press right now. And you can enjoy the walk. The pin, nice centralised in the middle of this green. No need to look at it. You can aim on it. A couple of yards right of it, no problem. 185 yards, that's all he's got left in. One good iron shot left in the bag, hopefully. Perfect. Exactly where he was trying to get it. Well, that's that done and dusted. Well, this victory is, if he wasn't beforehand, certainly going to put him in the Ryder Cup picture as well. This for a round of 66 and a four-stroke victory. 
high class. Hugely impressive from Ollison this week. And what a weekend. He shot 14 under over Saturday and Sunday, and that without dropping a single stroke. Torbjorn, congratulations, your seventh DP World Tour victory. We know you're a terrific front runner. You started the day two strokes ahead, birdies at the first two holes, but Nikolai drew within two strokes of you uh, after the 12th hole, before yeah. that fabulous birdie at the 13th of yours on the difficult par three. How vital was that in the, in the outcome? Yeah, it was, I mean, it came at the right, right time, right? I felt like I had, I had some really good chances to make birdies and didn't, didn't really um, capitalize on them and then, Obviously, it's uh, it's a bonus on two tough holes to make those two birdies. It's really, uh, yeah, it pulled me out and uh, made it feel a little, little bit more comfortable the last few holes. Um, so, uh, yeah, it felt um, it felt really good today. It felt steady. I felt like I was in control and um, yeah, just enjoyed playing golf today, which was uh, which was very nice. <laughs> It would be remiss of me not to mention that the Ryder Cup is in Italy later this year. You won in Italy in 2018, the year you made your Ryder Cup debut. How high is the Ryder Cup on your priority list? Of course, I mean, I've obviously tried it in Paris and had that experience. And uh, obviously, you you would love to come back and play play more Ryder Cups. It's going to be uh, it's going to be very difficult, but this is certainly. Uh, a very good start to uh, to try and get into that team. Well, every win is obviously meaningful. Uh, you've had some big changes in your life the last 12 to 18 months. You moved to Dubai and you're now a father. How special is win number seven? It's um, yeah, it's very special. Um, obviously, the one in um, British Masters was uh, was incredible with my family and uh, a long time since I won the last time. But I mean, equally this one, uh, just all the hard work and all the sacrifice for my my wife and um, yeah it's really nice. Well congratulations a fabulous performance this week Torbjorn Olison 2023 Thailand Classic Champion. Thank you so much appreciate it. To watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here.